Okay, first I want to set a document size with 1 1 ratio by going to default. Document properties. And let's change this millimeter to pixels. Make it by. And this too. This do 1 1 ratio and close it. Next, draw lines with bezier tool. Press B. Click. Hold Control to create a district lines, and right click to release. Okay, you can change the stroke width, make it more thin, and fill in stroke tab, and the stroke style. Change it to pixel. I want to change it to one. Next, I want to create an interpolation. So what the interpolation in Inkscape does, it create a, a copies with the same steps. Okay. So click this shape and press Ctrl D to duplicate and hold Ctrl Shift while moving so it keep in horizontal line, not like this. Okay. You can hold Ctrl Shift to make it in the horizontal line with the same position. Okay, select all this line and go to extension, generate from path, choose the interpolate between path. You can change the interpolation steps to like 10 and I want to unactive this duplicate and path let's see the left preview in interpolate between path if you change the exponent you see the steps it's not same so just keep it by one and the interpolation steps this is the number of the copies I will keep in 10 or 12 okay if it okay and then apply then close if you select all the shape you see this is the original shape the first one and this the duplicate and this is the interpolate so you have to ungroup it first because we're going to create a shape builder with this so right click choose ungroup select all and press ctrl G to group them duplicate this line press ctrl D to duplicate okay it's already duplicate click one more you still you see this rotate icon and hold control so it will create some these grid lines I'm pressing control D to make this as a template later I want to create more variant so move it outside the canvas okay now with ellipse tool press E and you can hold control only okay move you can hold control only to make it fit to these guidelines okay after that you can hold control D to duplicate and hold control shift make it snap to these guidelines alright select all and click this shape builder tool or the shortcut is X alright now you see this blue highlight just drag it the rectangle become unite as you move the mouse so my tips when you do this in shape builder just do it one by one because if you do not one by one, I mean it's in one drag and if you want to undo your last checkpoint is when you release the mouse correct? use easy make it one by one move step by step If all done, click this selector tool to see the result. Alright, and you can change the color, example this black color. And I want to remove the stroke, right click, just remove stroke. And let's add some circle with an ellipse tool. And hold Ctrl Shift. 
and you can swap fill to stroke right click just swap fill and stroke with selector tool you can hold shift then click this circle and this edge letter in the middle make a line and distribute objects and go by going to this just align and distribute choose the last selected click the center on the vertical axis and center on the horizontal axis right you can go to fill and stroke tab change it to pixel I want to set it to 20 pixel okay and make them group to move it to middle right click choose group and align distribute objects again now change the relative to the page I want to make it in the middle of the page alright okay now let's add more page you can create this big tool and create this new page create this grid lines so I select all and press ctrl D to, to duplicate and move it to here okay let's try with another shape I want to set it to this store of polygon tools make sure you choose these polygons make the corner to 6 and hold control you can hold control again to adjust it and let's try duplicate one more press control D to duplicate hold control only alright and select all and with shape builder tool again and try another shape And let's try to change the color. Let's put some hexagon again. So with this star or polygon tools, hold control. And swap the field to stroke. Right click, just swap fill and stroke. And put it on the middle. So because this is no middle, you have to group them first. So select all and press Ctrl G to group. Click this and hold shift and click with align and distribute. Change the relative to last selected. All right. and let's increase it to and of course if you want to use the pet effect so you have to ungroup this first right click just ungroup and after you ungroup and on this get to pass choose the pet effect let's say you want to make it a corner so while in this corner, you can go to this node tool Okay, one more, create a new page So. Click this icon, the page tool, and create this new page. Okay, now this time I want to use with the circular grid. You can click this ellipse tools and hold Control Shift. K 
okay and fill in sort of tab you can turn it on width to one and duplicate again press ctrl D and hold ctrl shift to create a proportional scale create an interpolation so select all and go to extension generate from path choose the interpolate between path okay turn on this left preview to see what happened okay you see that error because for the circle you have to convert it to path by going to path object to path and this with the path choose object to path and let's try again go ex to extension generate from path choose the interpolate between path check this live review so I think 12 is too much let's try 5 3 it's ok then apply then close this is the interpolation and this is the original shape so ungroup the interpolation right click choose ungroup and group them again right click choose group so this is my circular grid lines you can select all and hold control only to scale it down I bring this press control D to duplicate move it to here Okay, let's see with the shape builder tool. Press X or you can click this icon. If it's all done, you can click this selector tool to see the result. And let's try to change the color to this black color. Move this through. That's how you can use the shape builder tools on Inkscape. You can try to add more guidelines and combine them to see the different results. That's all. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next tutorial. Bye-bye.